Hello, today is October 22nd. It's a Thursday, one step closer to the weekend. This is a video for those people who are absent or need some additional assistance. Hopefully by now you've done the self-start. Uh, you've kind of looked to see what we're doing. So this is just going to be kind of a quick video as to check your answers. First thing, question number one on your self-start says find the volume. So to find volume of a rectangular prism, it's length times width times height. So I'm going to do 9 times 5 times 3. 9 times 5 times 3 is going to give me an answer of 135 inches. And then remember, volume is always cubed, so it's going to be cubed. Question number two says, find the area. So there's two ways we're going to do it. Uh, I'll do the triangle method first, and then I will do the new formula way uh, second. So to find area of a triangle, it is base times height divided by 2. So my base is 30, so that the base is going to be this side right here. The height of my triangle is going to be 26. I'm going to remember that I'm going to divide by 2. 30 times 26 divided by 2 gives me an answer of 390. But that 390, that is area for just one of these triangles. So don't stop there. I've got six triangles in here, so I need to multiply that number by 6. And you should get an answer of... 2340 meters, and because it's not volume, it's just area, it's squared. So there's your first way to do it, and that's going to be if you use the triangle method. The other way is number of sides times the length of sides. times the apothem. I'm trying to do this on my mouse, it's kind of hard. Apothem divided by two. So I have six sides on this shape, times the length of the side, which is 30, times the apothem, which is 26. And I'm going to remember to divide it by two. So if I do six times 30, times 26 divided by 2, I will get an answer of 2340 meters squared. So you'll notice that the answer, no matter which way I chose to do it, is the exact same. I'm an ugly M there. So either way is okay. You pick which way works best for you. Uh, the last one says, find the volume of a cube whose edge length is 7.1. So I'm just going to put 7.1 inches down here. Now, because it's a cube, all of the sides are going to be the same. So that means the length is 7.1, the width is 7.1, and the height is 7.1. So to do this, I'm going to do length times width times height. So 7.1 times 7.1 times 7.1. That should give me an answer of 357.911, because it's in inches, I'm gonna do inches cubed for volume. So there you go. There is your deep thought for the day. You're welcome to pause and read it. As far as information goes, today during wind time is during third and fifth hours. Get caught up on assignments because that deadline for accepting late work is coming quick. Uh, welcome to fix feedback mistakes. You're just working on something quietly. A um, couple of reminders as far as the school goes. Make sure that when you're back, you're not using cell phones during school hours. That includes lunches. Um, before or after school is great, or you can make phone calls in the office. Uh, hats are okay to wear now, but hoodies are not. So no hoodie should be on your head. 
Uh, make sure you're wearing masks correctly while in the school. Uh, that includes before and after school. If you're in the school at all, make sure you're wearing it correctly. And if, teacher, if a teacher sees you drawing on your skin or your clothes, you can be sent to the office to have a discussion about that. That is against policy, so please do not write on yourself. If you need something to write on, ask the teacher for a piece of paper. Uh, for today, we've done the self-start. Today is a review day because tomorrow is our feedback on volume, so we're playing Jeopardy. Um, the link to get onto Jeopardy is located in Canvas in the announcements, so you're welcome to go there and uh, click on it. That's going to be really good practice for you guys. So other than that, we're done. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your teacher or send them a message through Canvas. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.